we'll be getting some quotes from Vinicius Jr. We'll talk about racial um, discrimination in football. So let's have um, the quotes of Vinicius Jr. Before we have it on the screen, but um, I mean, now, what do you make of racism in football and, of course, sports in, in general? Racism in football. Racism actually in football yeah. is when... Okay, all right. So that's a quote from Vinicius Jr., who plays for Real Madrid in the Spanish La Liga. And he's a, a player from... A black player from Brazil. This is his quote about racism. And he says, It wasn't the first time, nor the second, nor the third. Racism is normal in La Liga. The competition thinks it's normal. The Federation does too. And the opponents encourage it. I'm so sorry. The championship that once belongs... One, that once belonged to Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Cristiano, and Messi today belongs to racists. Um, so that's according to um, uh, Vinicius Jr. He continues to say, a beautiful nation which welcomed me and which I love, but uh, which agreed to export the image of racist country to the world. I'm sorry for the Spaniards who don't agree, but today in Brazil, Spain is known as a country of racists and unfortunately for everything that happens each week i have no defense i agree but i'm strong and i will go um to the end against racist even if it's far from here so um vinicius jr on his uh talking about how some valencia fans attacked him because he's a black player playing in spain so this is what we are going to talk on the show racism in sports racism in football so sports in general but particularly on football and we'll talk about Vinicius Jr. So that's the quote you just saw on your screen. Um, so he's very, very bitter and he suggests that he's likely to leave Real Madrid and move to another club because of racism. Well, we just saw the quote from Vinicius Jr. We all know he's a black player from Brazil. What do you make of racism in sports yes, in uh, uh, Racism in football or racism in soccer is when a, a, a sports official be it the referee, the assistant referee, any of the officials, yeah. or a player, or a fan is being abused physically, emotionally, mentally, based on the person's color. Yeah. Racism in the, in, is very bad. In, the 20, in this 21st century, in this world that we find ourselves, Racism should not be tolerated. Not at all. It is an eyesore. It is terrible and horrible. Very, very Racism bad. is very, very bad. Yeah. No matter who it happens to, it is bad. Yeah. If it hap it is bad. And I don't know why even in this current dispensation, people people discriminate based on people's color. The whites are fond of that. They they discriminate against the blacks and most often I don't, uh, I don't fault them because we the blacks, we don't like ourselves and we discriminate against ourselves. So when we go somewhere, those things are bound to happen. Balotelli suffered the same thing when he was in Inter Milan. He, his, uh, Sule Muntari also suffered the same thing in Inter Milan. You know, I don't know, most of our players playing their trades in Europe go through all those things, the African countries. Napoli and things they yeah. do that and it doesn't it doesn't speak well for the game because you know FIFA always advocates for say no, no to, to racism, racism. Yes, with the captain's yeah, most, armband, yeah. mostly when uh, big tournaments are held like the World Cup and the Champions League finals and things you see the the advertising board that that uh, circles the, the yeah, pitch that no room for racism yeah. yes they advertise that but I don't know why People in this age still think racism is normal and they try to abuse people racially. It is very bad. And whoever does that, the society must frown at it. Surely. And surely, whoever surely. does that must be punished, must be punished severely to serve as a warning to other people because you don't discriminate against people because of their color. Is it their fault that they are being born black or what? What happened to Vinicius Jr. against uh, Madrid versus Valencia? Valencia. Yeah. Valencia won the game at the end, so I don't know why. Why? Yeah. why I, I didn't understand. Well, maybe why. it could be that they just don't like black players. But we we'll have some um, some videos on our screens where. So if you don't we'll like, see, yeah. if you don't like black players, don't go ahead and sign black players. You, you see, when you do that, you you dampen their spirits. Don't do that. Football brings people together. Football. 
Football is a passion. Football, people love football. Yes, so the moment do. you do that, you try to, you try to, 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 to take away the love. Away yeah, what, 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 yeah, there's a message that just came. This one says, racism will not stop because even FIFA um, uh, races themselves. Uh, okay, all right. You see, he, he sent a message without his name. He says, even FIFA themselves are racist. We'll, we'll have some um, video on our screen shortly. We'll have um, some incident involving Vinicius Jr. And of course, other black players like the likes of Romelo Lukaku, um, um, Suli Ali Muntari, Neymar da Silva Jr. and the like. So we'll have that video shortly on our screen. But how can we stop racism in football? Is this something that, because we've talked about racism for so many years, it has happened to players like Suli Muntari, Romelo Lukaku, like Kingston and the likes. Now Vinicius Jr. You know, racism can never be stopped in our football. Yeah. You know, it is high time people got educated. Yes. Got educated to to know the importance or the differences between. Okay. So um, before before that, this is a video um, um, involving it's a team um, Inter Milan and Juventus in the Italian Serie A. So uh, Romero Lukaku scored against Juventus, and you can see one of his fingers on his lips, um, telling the club the crowd to shut up. Um, they were chanting racist at him. And I, sometimes I don't understand why the referee at the end gives the player a yellow card or a red card because they confront the fans. Maybe the referee didn't know what actually went No, but he's on the field, so he should know. I think he should know. Because he's, he sees clearly that That's, he's confronting the player. So you the know, player. the yeah. whites are, are very are racist. Yeah. The, the whites are racist. The, 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 the referee was a white. Yeah. The whites are racist. I don't know why. Maybe they need to be educated properly. Yeah. They need to be educated properly so that they'll get to know that if people have black if people are okay, so that's this particular incident. That's Vinicius Jr. against um, Valencia fans. So they were calling him monkey on the field of play. And you can see some of the Madrid players um, taking him away from the crowd. But he wanted to confront the crowd because uh, be, being called a monkey on the field of play, let's even put football aside. He's a human being like us. No, you see, it is, seems like this is very bad. Yeah. It's terrible. It must not be entertaining our football, but that is where we find ourselves. Even in FIFA, they do discriminate. If you are a black man and you want to want to contest for the seat of FIFA, you will not get it. <laughs> you know, it is that, that yeah. is the reality on the ground. Yeah. That is the reality on the ground. So it is high time if I don't know, but it is very sad. It yeah. is very bad. You, yeah. How why do you have to call your fellow, your, your, human, fellow, your fellow human being, your a, fellow a, a, a human monkey. being a monkey. Yeah. It is, it is terrible. Yeah. Those who do that, we are not in Stone Age. Okay, so and this is another video. This was um, Suli Muntari during his time um, in Italy. He was also um, called a monkey during his time, and then he went to the referee to confront the referee that this is what the fans are saying. And you see at the end of the video, um, he was handed a, a, a red card, and he decided not to even play the game again. So, like you said, racism is all about color, color discrimination. But it's, it looks as though the whites are doing more than the blacks. The, 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 the whites are more racist than the blacks. That is because the whites don't come to our part of the world to play their trade in football. Yeah, well, in a way, yeah. You get me. Most, they don't come. Nobody in England will come to Ghana to play the Ghana Premier League. <laughs> it is well, so obvious. Yeah. So there is no way they will... Ghanaians will, no, yeah. will, we'll see will discriminate yeah, yeah, against, against yeah, a white yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. And it's so like, he's there, that's, the, that's the video. He's telling the, the, the fans that, yeah, I'm black and so what? And our main problem too is that we see the whites are superior. Yeah. That is our, our problem. Our, our problem. So whenever we see white people, there is no way we, we are going to deny them certain things or yeah. we are going to say certain things about them based on their on their color. Yeah. And this was um, Neymar as well. Um, so he was about to effect um, a corner kick and then um, some bottles and objects were thrown on the field. And this is um, Danny Alves. So you can see um, he was about to kick um, a ball and then a banana was thrown on the field of play, which signifies a monkey. And then he took the banana and then just decided to eat it up to show them that, that well, if you say I'm a monkey, well, I'm truly a monkey. 
you know some people some people take things lightly but yeah. other people don't yeah you get me so he took it cool and then he decided to eat it maybe as fun or something but others will feel hurt why should you discriminate against my color is it my fault that i was created black, black yeah you don't do that and then you look at the football world even most players are even in in, 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 in the european teams are black players Look at it, Chelsea, the Madrid, most of the players are even black players. Yes, so we need to, it's a high time we started accommodating people. Yeah. We must not, this is a no in sports for me. How can, how, how can we take this out of football and sports in general? How can, how can we take this out? Because we've talked about this issue for so many years. How can we stop this? This uh, racism can never be stopped wow. in our in our football. Yeah. That is because the whites have decided to live in the Stone Age, and also well, some whites, some whites. Yeah, let's say some yeah. in our part of the world, yeah. our leaders and those handling our, our sports have not made up their mind yeah. to do the football well yeah. enough for people to stay here and play well. You get me. So sure. people will go to other countries to ply their trade. You get because of the, the incentives and other things. So when they go, those whites who are not very educated will racially abuse them. So it is very, it is, it is, there is nothing that can be done about it. FIFA has preached about stop racism, say not racism. racism yeah. They've done that several, but every year, every year, they keep doing the same thing. Yeah. So it is, it is like it is now part of the game. Wow. It is now part of it. Has should should, should, should we start game. treating this as a criminal case? Should we start treating it racism in, in sports as a criminal case? And let's not just see it as if it's happening in football. Let's treat it as if it's, it's a criminal case. And those found guilty should be probably jailed or um, sentenced to life. Do, do you think that that will also help? Even that will help in a point, but people will still do it. Yeah. Because there are people, there are white, there are some white people who teach their kids, toddlers, to be racially abusing black people. I've watched movies, I read documentaries, I watch documentaries, and that is what is going on. They tell their toddlers not to like people with black skin. Yeah. So such yeah. such a child will grow, and whenever he or she sees a black person, will racially abuse that black person. So. Yeah. Nothing can really be done about it. You think nothing can be really be done? Yes. You think it's, it has become a normal part of it's our, a, it, our year? It, it has become normal, but it shouldn't have been normal. Yeah. But the education, because looking at the whites, you know, they are very educated. They are very much educated. So I don't know why they still go ahead to do that. Okay. All right. So, um, so that's for racism in football and sports in general. So still on this topic, uh, so we'll hear from Carlo Ancelotti, um, who is the head coach of Real Madrid Football Club. He is very, very unhappy of how his player Vinicius Junior was attacked by some Valencia fans. Let's hear from Carlo Ancelotti. Problema. No, yo no lo tengo. Porque para mí Vinicius es el jugador más importante del mundo, más fuerte del mundo. La Liga tiene un problema. Esto episodio de racismo Para mí tienen que parar el partido. Tenemos un problema. No, yo no lo tengo. Porque para mí Vinicius es el jugador más importante del mundo, más fuerte del mundo. La Liga tiene un problema. Estos episodios de racismo, para mí tienen que parar el partido. No puede pasar porque aquí no es una persona que le grita modo, mono como ha pasado en muchos estadios. Aquí es un estadio que, tiene, que insulta a un jugador por racismo. El partido tiene que parar. Él lo diría lo mismo si ganamos 3 a 0. Parar el partido. No hay otra manera. Porque la imagen es muy mala. Tenemos un problema. No, yo no lo tengo. Porque para mí Vinicius es el jugador más importante del mundo, más fuerte del mundo. La Liga tiene un problema. Estos episodios de racismo, para mí, tienen que parar el partido. So, Carlo Ancelotti, head coach of Real Madrid Football Club, very unhappy with how his player Vinicius Jr. was attacked by some Valencia fans, calling his player uh, a monkey. You can see he's very, very um, upset. Uh, yeah, we'll continue this um, topic, but uh, we'll take a musical break. Uh, this is from Lucky Dubé. Uh, he calls this song, One People, Different People, But One 
people. Let's take a look at the song. Let's take a, a listen to the song and then we'll come back shortly. from Lucky um, Dubé. Um, this song typically on racism, color um, discrimination. And so uh, I'm sure viewers at home want to call and share their thoughts on racism and how we can stop racism in sports. So 024-623-9070, 024-623-9070. Again, 024-623-9070. Zero. What you call? We talk about racism. How racism can be stopped um, in sports? Before we talk about the hats and, of course, European football games. So zero two four six two three nine zero seven zero zero two four six two three nine zero seven zero. A very powerful song from um, Lucky 
Dubé talking about racism. Okay, so um, first caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Your name and where you calling from? My name is Nanapoku, calling from Adenta. Okay, Nanapoku from Adenta. You see, I don't know how, you know, we, we are going to be able to do this. I believe strongly that it has some good of the how this mentality is. Okay. You know what? Your line, your line, your line is not, your line is not clear at all. Can you adjust yourself? Well? Your line is not clear at all. Yeah. Okay. So um, zero two four six two three nine zero seven zero zero two four six two three nine zero seven zero. We're talking about racism in sports. Uh, recently, Vinicius Junior of Real Madrid attacked by some fans of Valencia in their game against Real Madrid. So we're looking at racism in sports and how we can stop or take away racism or probably kill racism in sports. The number is on your screen, 024 You know, um, in um, Lucky Dubé's, um, the song that we just wore, um, take a listen to, what I love from his lyrics is that uh, he says these people were created in the image of God. And, and, and who are you to separate them? Bible says he made man in his own image. He didn't say you are black or white. That was, that, that, that's where I love in, in his lyrics. That's there. Yes, uh, the song speaks well. Yeah, very. There is a lot of things we can, we can learn from the song, but ask yourself, the whites who brought education, are they willing to be educated enough yeah, and then to yeah, accept the yeah, fact yeah, that yeah. God created all equally and that we shouldn't discriminate? They still discriminate and it's very bad. It's very bad. It's 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 a no for me. Is it, do you think it's a lack of education? Is it, it's lack of education so part? Because I don't see why a well educated person should should should, should discriminate against his or his fellow uh, mate, because I'm white, you are black, or you are black and I'm white. I, I honestly, it, to me, it, it doesn't make any sense. You know, um, discrimination started way back. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Since we, we, yeah. we okay. So another caller on the line. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Your name, your name, and where you are calling from? Yeah, I'm back. I'm calling from Kaswa. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm listening to you. Let's go. Okay, I want to speak about the topic of racism. Yeah, racism, yeah. Yeah, one thing I want to say is how Africans, to be precise, we are some kind of hypocrites. Because the, the topic is talking about racism. Look, everything that we are blaming the white about, we are doing it ourselves. Then we are blaming them. You get it. Racism is it, it, not just about color alone. It cuts across color. But it's the same thing that we are doing here. You could see in one tribe telling us that oh, we are very important. This and this. In all those things that we do to ourselves, it's also part of racism. You get it. But we think that, oh, it's just normal. That one is not going to be And then we leave racism to just color alone. But it's race. What you are coming from? So me, one thing I always say, look, Africans, we do the things ourselves and we blame other people about it. We blame the white out. They are the racist. They are white. We are ourselves. We are the racist ourselves. Yeah. All right. But Thank what, you. Yeah, yeah, before you go, but what do you think we can do to, to stop racism in, in, in sports or football? What do you think we can Pardon do? Me. Yeah, Pardon I'll ask you. What, yeah, can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Yeah, look, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so what will make an individual to be a racist? Is it, do you think it's a lack of education or people are just born to be racist? What do you think? Why people be, just become racist? What, what's the reason? I'm sorry, I can hardly hear you. Okay, all right. So I was, can you hear me now? No. Okay, so the, 
Okay, so the line is bad. So, okay, 024-623-9070, 024-623-9070. That's your calling number where you call. Uh, let's talk about racism and how we can kill racism in football and sports in general. Okay, so the number is on your screen. So, um, so, 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 so lastly, on, on, on racism in sports, um, what's your final words? Like you said, it's become something normal in, in, in sports because we talked about these ages and there's, there's no sign as do it look like the, it's going the to last work. caller was saying that we discriminate against ourselves this is what i was telling you yeah. from the beginning that we discriminate against ourselves we don't like ourselves maybe because of trying okay so things. before that another caller hello good morning yeah good morning yes sir please can you turn down the volume on your tv set yeah, I've done that. Okay, all right, yeah. So I'm listening. Yeah, I believe I, I believe strongly that FIFA itself, as a, as, a, as a footballing body, has, you know, a major role uh, to play in this assistance of racism in the football game. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You, you are, you, you are the, the, the footballing body, the, the, the final authority at that. So if this, is, this has gone on from, from, from 40 years ago, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, and step by step, step. I mean, what, what stops you from implementing laws that will care these things? Yeah. Galicia did this too, Benicius. Next season, they will still be in La Liga playing. So how are they going to stop? Ban them, ban the whole, ban the whole stadium. You understand? Nobody should visit the, the, the stadium again to go and do that. And that, that in itself will, will, will bring down some, 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 some level of, you know, sanity into the game. Yeah. yeah. You understand? So I believe strongly that FIFA has to sit up. I mean, that is what your, 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 panel, your, your panel is saying. FIFA itself has a problem. So until they deal with it, racism in sports will never go away. Yeah, sure. They have to start with FIFA. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, before you go, um, what makes people racist? Why do people just become racist? Is it lack of education or people are just born to be racist? Well, so people are just born naturally. Excuse my language, stupid. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. A pig is an animal. A monkey is an animal. Sure. You understand? Yeah. So if you, a pig, you are going to the forest to tell a monkey that a monkey, you are also an animal. I mean, I don't see any sense in it. You understand? Definitely. People are just born like that. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. So just, 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 let's just. Okay. All right. So thank you for your call. Uh, so 024 So your final words on racism and then. Uh, we talk about the Ghana Premier League and, of course, the European um, games coming to a close. The, f as the last caller said, the final authority is on FIFA. Yeah. Because they are the regulating body in our game, in our game of football. Surely. So they have to do something about it. They've sat down for 50 years, 60 years, and they have done nothing about racism. And it's still ongoing. It's very bad. So they must do something about it but i think fifa itself as a as a body has a problem so they need to deal with their problem if they are able to deal with their problem then they can handle racism as a problem and treat it with all disdain and all criminality yeah have you ever been abused by i've a been white? abused not by a white by, okay. but by my fellow For black black, <laughs> black woman what have you is this something you can tell me on there? Okay, you know, f you know, I have a haircut. Formerly, I my hair was long. I had long hair. Okay. You know, whenever I go to the salon to braid my hair, there are people who come there with ve with cars and things. And when you go there before they come, the, the the ladies in the salon want to attend to them first before me. Sometimes too, when I go and sit down, they will be shaking my head. Do your head well, do your neck well. They will be pushing my head, turning my head upside down. But when those people come, they have, they give them special treatment. Or oh, will you drink water? They try to be all nice towards them. So when I realized all those things going, I decided not to visit the salon again. Then I just decided to bob my hair to keep a, a short hair because. The, if the, you treat, yeah. the treatment is bad, and I don't like discrimination. Treat people equally, no matter what they have or what they don't have. Yeah. So, like you said, racism is not just about the whites, but we, the blacks ourselves, don't yes. like each other. Yes. Yeah. We discriminate it's against ourselves. If someone is, we discriminate based on religion, um, uh, 
status, yeah, yeah. Uh, the work the person does, what the person has, and so many things, and it's it's very bad. Yeah. I don't I don't subscribe to that. Well, yeah, you've talked about like you said, years and years and years, over hundred years. Uh, we talked about the racism, and there's no sign as as though it's going to ever end. Should we accept it as part of society now? Should we, should we start to accept it that it's part of life? Something that is bad is bad. Yeah, it's bad is no bad. No matter how you paint it or you describe it, it is still bad. Definitely. So, there is nothing that can be done about it, and we shouldn't accept it too. You get me. So let's just keep fighting and keep talking about it. Let's keep fighting and, and, and keep talking about day, it. Yeah. And let it be taught in our schools so that our children, our upcoming children will know that, hey, don't do that. Yeah. Love everyone, treat people equally. That is what I think will help. But for now, there's the discrimination and everything. It's, it's everywhere and it's very bad. Definitely, definitely. So racism in sports, like Abina said, uh, we can let's talk about let's keep talking about racism. Let's keep educating um, the general public. Let's treat it as a topic in school that racism is not good. Let's treat each other um, equally, and of course, kill racism in our lives. So away from racism, now let's come home and talk about the Ghana Premier League Week 32. Two more games to end the season, and we have Mediama on top of the. Ghana Premier League table with two games to go. What it means is that should they win their next two games or win one out of the two games, they are going to become champions of the Ghana Premier League. Accra has a folk were in action against Legon City and they lost by one go to zero at the Alwak Sports Stadium. We'll be having that game shortly on our screen. So Accra has a folk season continuous um, to be in shambles. Um, they are still not in the top four. And of course, they are not going to win the Ghana Premier League this season. So we'll have that game shortly on our screen. Hats of folk, like we talked about each and every time this season, they, they, they are a team that cannot be predicted. They win today, tomorrow they lose. They draw today, tomorrow they lose. They are just not inconsistent. The inconsistency in the Hats of Folk team is what has caused Hats of Folk the league title. Definitely. And, you know, Hats of Folk going into any league, any uh, league year, yeah. Hearts of Oak and Asante Kotoko are the favorites to win the the league title. The, yeah, yeah. But the moment the team becomes inconsistent, like the current Hearts of Oak team that we have, you can't predict them. They, they. If you want to win the the Ghana Premier League, you must make sure you win all your home matches. If you go away, your list should be a draw. Definitely. On difficult grounds, you make sure that on difficult grounds, you pick at least a point there. But out of work, even at a cross sports stadium, we lose vital points. And there is nothing that shows that there is seriousness in out of folk for us to win the league. So even in top four, me, I don't want us to play top four. Yeah. Because we don't, have, to to play we don't have... Yeah. House of folk doesn't have the character and the team to play in top four. Yeah. House of folk team this season is a disgrace. Yeah. Definitely a big disgrace. Um, former champions of the Ghana Premier League. This is a team ha that has to be competing with the likes of uh, teams in South Africa, the teams El Ali, in El Ali, Melody, Zemali, Sandown. Oh, and the no, 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 they can't. They can't compete like Because yeah. this, look at the players we had last two seasons. Yeah. The, the team that won the, 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 Ghana the Premier double League. Yeah. and the FA Cup. Yeah. We had the likes of... Uh, F uh, uh, the likes of uh, Patrick Razak, Patrick Razak, Kofi Koji, yeah, Mohamed, we had Hassan. Mohamed Al Hassan, we had Fatao, yeah. we had uh, Inform, uh, Inform, uh, yeah, 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 you had the likes of Afutu, Benjamin Afutu, Afutu. yeah, we had uh, uh, this left back, yeah, uh, what's his name, Randy uh, Ovoka, Randy Ovoka, we had, yeah. we had uh, Ansabo Tre, yeah, we had all the good players. This season, look at the players, was there a mistake sacking their coach, um, Samoa? Um, uh, what's his name? Samuel Samo Buedu, yes. No, Samuel Buedu, you know Samuel Buedu got to a point, it, uh, it got to a point, Samuel Buedu couldn't read opponents. You get me, and as a coach, I realized his time was up. Yeah. Because as a coach, you must vary your tactics. You see, when you are going to, you must have tactics for different games. But if you keep using your same ideas and your same tactics to face every team, you will lose. 
You get me? And someone who was not performing, that's how come they replaced him with Matic. And Matic came and then he did nothing. <laughs> Matic came and then he did nothing. And he, he, he sunk heart of folk team. You get me? And then when Matic went, uh, Oklu took over. And Oklu to nothing. So heart of folk. Also, folk, in fact, they've really made their supporters very sad. Yeah, it, it's their poor season, um, one of the reasons why fans are not going to the, the, the stadium to watch a cry so folk game. But this game we just saw, we are, we, are, we are seeing on our screen right now, it's a game that was placed just yesterday, and that's the Elwak Sports, Sports Stadium. Stadium. Yeah, and you can see, low attendance. Also, folk, supporters have decided not to go to the park or to the stadium because... Um, there are a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is that the management it doesn't recognize the supporters. During some of this time, the supporters were recognized. Yeah. So the supporters were rallying behind the team to perform. You get me? Sure. With a sheer, sheer, sheer goo, yeah, and so yeah. Ah, stadium was, was so was was always light up on match days. But look at this time. There is nothing to be to 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 show off you get me management doesn't listen to to supporters you get me management have brought some players that we don't even some, some say players that you don't deserve to be put in on the heart of folk jersey. They don't even deserve to be wearing the heart of folk jersey. Yeah. but yet they, those are the players who are always wearing the heart of folk jersey to be to be on the pitch and it's it's the sadness you see, me yesterday, I didn't go to the stadium because me, I knew that we would lose. Mm -hmm. Because there is nothing to, to... When I immediately I saw the squad, I became downhearted because there, there is nothing. It is not encouraging. It is not encouraging. How to folk strikers, even if you put all the goals they've scored this season together, yeah. it is not even up to five. Yeah, most, of, most of their goals have been scored by defenders. So how can, the you, you, the how can yeah. you win a league with such an attitude? Yeah. You get me? And then we were talking about, we were overhyping Kunedu Yadom. What has Kunedu Yadom done for us this season? Kunedu Yadom has scored, and, uh, has scored about two own goals this season. And there is nothing to be, to be proud of. You, you see, yesterday I was very happy Kofi Koji scored against Asofo. Because Kofi Koji was in Asofo. When it got to critical moments, Kofi Koji will pass through the defenders and, and at least get you a goal. Yeah. But what did the management do? They said that he was surplus to requirement. Surplus to requirement player. So yesterday I prayed that he scored there so that management will know that Brofu yes. Bebrena Motron, you should understand the Brofu before you write it. It is very, it is very sad. After sacrificing yourself for a club, no, now what, what bosses in the now they tell you this. It is very bad. Yeah. And how to folk management must really set up and listen to supporters. If they listen to supporters, we'll be going to the, we'll be going to stadium to support the team because as of folk, we love the as of folk team. Surely, surely. So that's as of folk game against um, Legon Cities, uh, with a game ending a 1-0 win for Legon City. So. Uh, so it was just one goal, so we can um, take a look at the, the table of the Ghana Premier League. So like I said, we got two games to end the season, um, two, just two games to end the Ghana Premier League season. And so that's the table on your screen. Uh, so Mediam are on top with um, 56 points. Um, sitting second is Adriana Stars with 52 points. Um, so just, let's just look at the top two. Medium and Adriana Stars. Adriana Stars were on top of the Ghana Premier League for so many months, just like um, Arsenal were on top before City came to win the league. And it looked like Medium will win the Ghana Premier League because 56 points with two games to end the season, they just they need just three points to win the Ghana Premier League season. And it looks likely that they are going to win the Ghana Premier League for the first time in so many years. Adriana Stars is Ghana's version of Arsenal. Exactly, exactly. I do agree Adriana with you. Adriana Stars. I Adriana do agree. Adriana Stars were on top of the league and then they, they, everyone thought, thought they yeah, could yeah. win the league, but they couldn't. Adriana Stars coach, Pakwesi Fabian, has considered, he says that... He's considered he, defeat. He has considered defeat. He has thrown in the towel. And he, he, he has said him, he has said to the media that there is no way Adriana can win the league. Yeah. For me, 
Well, maybe, 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 maybe it's mind games. Mind games. It is not mind, mind games. Game. It is not mind games. No, it, is, it isn't mind games. Okay. Me, I want. I prefer Mediama ahead of Adrian Anastas for okay. obvious reasons. Yeah. Okay, all right, so that's it for the Ghana Premier League. Now let's shiftly, um, let's quickly look at the um, the EPL. Let's talk about um, Manchester City quickly. Let's have their game shortly. Um, well, before, no, no let, let's, let's just have the pick um, of Erling Haaland. He's the top scorer in the um, English Premier League this season. He's won the Golden Boot in his first season with Manchester City. So he's a Premier League winner, a Golden Boot winner as well with Manchester City. Um, City, so we'll have that picture shortly. So that team with a trophy, um, so winning his first um, English Premier League title with Manchester City, and he has a Champions League final to play on June the 10th, and he's got an FA Cup final also to play against Manchester United. So he's likely to win two more trophies with Manchester City. What a career! Would, or what, what would he, what um, a big achievement will it be for? Erling Haaland winning three trophies in his first season with Manchester City. So away from Manchester City, Barcelona, um, also champions of the Spanish La Liga. Um, we we'll have the, the Barcelona um, footage shortly on our screen. They are also champions of the Spanish uh, La Liga. And we have the likes of Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba saying goodbye to um, Barcelona, Barcelona Football Club after so many years. So we'll have that video shortly on our screen. Before that, Erling Haaland, this guy is breaking records. 36 goals in a single season in the English Premier League for Manchester City. Erling Haaland is, is a player. You know that about he that. scores. That about that. No. He scores with his thigh, with his legs, his with his with his shoulder. Yeah. With, yeah. He, he, he scores. Yeah. He's a good player. Yeah, definitely. And he deserves it. Yes. He deserves he it. Said, yeah. Because he is the guy is a champion he's a champion he's a champion okay so in a shot right now is barcelona um they are saying goodbye to two of their um old players jordi alba and sergio busquet these are players that have played for barcelona for almost 15 to 16 years what are some of your memories of these players jordi alba um, and then a uh, player like Sergio Busquets, uh, Barcelona in general. Sergio Busquets, I remember Sergio Busquets. That was when I think I was in, uh, I was in JS. Right. Okay, okay. In those times, when Beckham was in Real Madrid. Yeah. I used to watch La Liga, I used to watch it. So I, they were playing good football. Definitely, they, yeah. And you know, those, the whites, when they are being treated well in a particular team, they are able to last yeah. In, in those teams, unlike the like our Ghana Premier League, where players, some players are seen as ungrateful yeah. and then they just leave. Danny Alba and, and his friend were Busquets were, yeah. Busquet were committed to Barcelona, so yeah. they they stayed there and then they made history there. So they deserve the the applause and all definitely, that they are getting definitely. now from. From, from the, the fans, team. yeah. So that's Jordi Alba and Sergio Busquets. Um, these players, like I said, have been with Barcelona for uh, more than 10 good years, and it's time for them to say um, goodbye. Well, our time is up. Um, what else do you, do, you, do you have to share with us? What, what, I think the Wafu Women's Championship is it? Yes, yes. It's, it's ongoing. Yeah, the yeah. Black Princesses have qualified for, for the semi final, so we are waiting to. to, to to see the outcome, but I hope the Black Princess are able to lift it up, since this is the maiden edition. Yeah. I thought we would talk about the the, 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 the Bundesliga, yeah, Bundesliga, the yeah, well, teams, I'm told my time, the Hertha yeah. Berlin, yeah. Stuttgart, and then Schalke 04. Yeah. It's very sad. It's very very so. sad. And Bayern Munich champions again. They've won it 11 straight times, 11 times in a row. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to this shows how dominant they dominant are. Dominant they yeah. are, or how good. They are. They invest in their team, so they they deserve it. Yeah, they deserve it. Yeah. Well, so quickly on 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 the under twenty, we we we're touching on the under twenty tournament. Yes. The so here, the, the 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 ladies are playing fantastic football. They are showing us beautiful football. That is what I want to see. So 
on Wednesday they'll be playing the semi-final, so the first semi-final. So we just hope and then we will just stay in our home. Those of us who cannot be in Kumas will be in our homes and then we'll be supporting them. Yeah, what's your final words to, to the ladies? I wish you all the best and I wish you win the maiden edition of the Wafu. And a 20 yeah, tournament. And a 20 tournament. Any shout out to then? Um, okay. I'll wrap up. Um, this is Abna Speed. You can follow Abna Speed on TikTok. Follow Abna Speed on Facebook. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Abna Speed. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Abigail of Big Girls Fashion Expert for my wonderful Ankara top. If you want it, she's at us offer. And thank you to my pastor, Reverend Yima Nolani. He was bereaved over the weekend. Papa, I wish you all, and I pray God strengthens you. Okay, Abina, thank you very much for honoring my invitation. Thank you for having me on your show. Surely, yeah. Okay, so thanks to Abina Speed, and thanks to the production crew as well. So we'll end the show um, with Lucky Dubey. Um, different people, but one color, or one color, different people, yeah. From Lucky Dubey. My name is Eno Kofi Adadvo. Thanks for watching the show. We're back tomorrow, same time, um, at 9 to 10.30 a.m. to bring the latest in the world of sports. Like I always say, when you see a prayer for yourself, always remember to say one for your brother. Enjoy the rest of our programs and good morning.